Hey everybody, it's been quite a while since I did a video. It might almost be two weeks. So I apologize for the length that this has been taken. This is probably one of the longer kits that I've actually built. And it ain't because of the how hard it is, it's just because of how busy I am outside of uh, YouTube and everything. So, thanks for staying a subscriber and uh, supporting the channel. I got a lot of new subscribers thanks to them. And also thanks to everybody who stuck around through all the gaps like I had. So, been almost getting this one done. This is the 57 Cadillac. I almost wanted to say 57 Chevy. So used to saying that. There's so many of those kits out there. But there's not too many of these out. This is the repop of the Ravel kit from Atlantis. It's not a super detailed kit but it does look pretty nice. It is a fun kit. This is kind of a kit that would be able to be built in a 24 hour build off or so. Relatively easy. But uh, with how busy I am, this one kind of <laughs> has been extremely slow. But uh, enough of that. Let me show you what I got. So the actual top that you don't see on here that will be shown on the final. That's going to be a two-tone. Normally these cars had a different color roof. So here's the interior. And so I did some, you know, dry brush and trying to create a fabric look. And then I did some washes and did some detail painting of the chrome in there. So I got try to get a two-tone leather look so the darker brown is the uh, model masters uh, leather and then the lighter color is just that folk art craft paint dry brushed on I kind of try to do an aggressive brush stroke so you kind of can get some nice texture I'm not just highlighting the edges, I'm trying to create a pattern that looks like fabric. And one of the washes I did was Future in it. It is just to help protect that. It kind of makes it have a vinyl -y look, but it is a little glossier than it should be. But I did the uh, chrome on the side. And get the, the grill, the speaker grill down there. But, um,. You can assemble this kit, you can do the whole interior and slide it in. But there's a couple tricks. Not to get that in, but before you get that in. So, on the body, you're supposed to put the axle in here and the tires in before you glue this piece down. Because the wheels cannot fit in there unless, you know, because of how tight that is. So the one thing I had to do is I had to cut this axle that, and take like a little section out so that way once I, I put the piece in, put the tire in and then slide it down in to the hole. The first one's easy because you can just take a toothpick and push it down in there and get that in there. But I'm going to glue it and I'm going to glue it to that so it actually bonds strong. Now the second one is a little tricky. It's the second one you put down in there, put the tire in, and then you have to use this opening here. You can see that red right there. That is the actual axle. And uh, I took a X-Acto knife or maybe a screwdriver and then you can take it once it's lined up kind of dig it in push it down in there a little bit. But I'm going to end up gluing it towards that uh, rear end so it'll be flush. I still have to take these out because I have to de decal put the decals on and do the clear coat on it as well so those are just mocked up same with the front that's why they're so wiggly the front it does not matter the front you can just put that in any time and as you can see they just pop right off so it don't really matter I still have to do the dark wash on the rims the black wash a little detail on that. Let's see if I can even pop these out. So 
So I'm probably going to have to do the same trick and flip that. Let's put an X-Acto knife on that and pull that out. But on to the side detail. I, this was going to have to be painted no matter what. Because this was just regular body color. It was that red. And then these were chromed. But they are both supposed to be chrome. So I end up stripping all the chrome so that way I can paint it all that aluminum and then put a clear coat on it. That way they all match. This is an actual wire. I just glued it in that seam and cut the areas for the door hinges. But it gives it a nice fine chrome look or trim look. Here, I didn't do the best job, but I end up just hand painting that. Could have did it a lot better if I did bare metal foil, but I didn't feel like taking it all out. Uh, you want to remove those little stands, them are not part of the car, but they do hold that in position. So if you want to mark those or somehow glue those and then cut that piece off, you can do that so that way they're in the right height. And then these tips are supposed to be painted black. I don't think I'll make it look right if I paint it black. So I'm kind of debating on not doing that. I did a black wash in there. But I had to put the Cadillac name on there and a, and a license plate. I had to do that on the back side as well. So I put the license plate and then the Cadillac. But this still all has to be clear coated. I did hand paint the door handles. I'm going to put a white wash in these, give them more of a headlight look. And for the underneath, I hand painted all this because it was all one piece. I still had to paint those. I do not know why I forgot about painting those, but I'll paint that. The bottom does not have a lot of molded in detail, so all I did was hand paint it and then put a uh, couple washes on it just to give it a little bit of life. So it ain't completely bland. But, so there's that. So all I gotta do, decals, clear coat. Do the clear coat or trim on the roof after it dries. Then clear coat, glue the windshields on. And pretty much glue everything together and this one's done. So the next time you guys see this, it will be actually finished. Like I said, this this is not a bad kit. Just been really busy. And uh, so, until next time, I hope you guys have a great one, and I'll see you then. Bye.